understand what happens at this table and each week I've been taking you a little bit further in an understanding of what God is saying and what he is moving and what he asks us to do and the wonderful things that are available to us at his table it is not to be a tradition of something that we seen done generations before and we do it 
but it's something to do with revelation. For only through revelation will you get change. Only through revelation will you get healing. Only through revelation will you get deliverance. You cannot just do things just because you're doing it. And you shall know the truth. And it's that truth that makes you free. I'm doing it a little bit different today because there needs to be an infusion uh, this morning or in our hearts and our spirit as we walk in such a time as the day and as we walk in such challenging yet times of great opportunity. Say great opportunity. So often we look at the negative and we get so consumed with the negative. That's the reason why one of the schemes and plots of the devil is to get us to see what is seen and miss what is unseen. Things that are seen are constantly changing. And when fact hit, when truth hit facts, facts change. For those of you who have a doctor's appointment on Monday, I don't care what he says, you can just say, well, the doctor said this. I've, I've learned a whole new approach to things because I realize that whatever I see can change. I'm talking to spiritual people right now. Whatever you see can change. And through that revelation, through that information, and through that, there has to be a generation of passion, of the original root, the original foundation, the original desire of God for us and for his people, and what we are to do in such a time as now. So once I finish with this, uh, I'm going to just show you, a, uh, let you uh, look at a, a, a video, but it's mostly words being spoken. And I pray that there be an infusion in your heart and spirit for the original intent of God in the burden that God has placed upon the saints of the Most High to move in. So let me read this scripture for you and uh, say a few things. Then we're going to take of these elements and then I'm just going to ask you to, to stay seated. Now if you want to stand when we take this, this is fine, but then I want you to hear. He who has an ear, let him hear. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 said, For I received from the Lord that which I also deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus on that same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The 25th verse said, In the same manner he also took the cup, saying, This cup is of the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Say in remembrance of me. Amen. Now please understand as we move through this and get a greater understanding of the communion. He says do this. Jesus told them in, in essence in this verse he says in the 25th verse. He's basically saying see, hear, and do. Say it with me. See, see hear, hear, and do. What he's saying to them you got to see something, hear it, and then do something. I'm going to talk about that in the message this morning. Say it with me. See, See hear, hear, and do. Please understand, it has been proven when you see something, hear it, and do it, you retain 80% of it. And so what you have to do in the process of even hearing the word and moving in the things that God has ordained, you got to understand, if I see it and I hear it and do it, I got it. You can't just listen to the word and go home. Are there going to be some demonstrations of that today? Somebody's going to get a breakthrough today. Somebody's not going to wait. I'm not with the I'm not with the crowd that talking about this time next year. Now, you go down the street. I'm talking about this time now. I'm with the this time now crowd. I'm with the now crowd. So if you want to learn something, if you want to walk in it, you got to see it, you got to, you got to, you got to hear it, and then do it. And so he said, do this. He said, do it often. Watch this. Because you'll never have it. You'll never have what happened at the cross until you understand it, see it, hear it, and do it. Now let me get to this part. Please understand. Last week I talked to you about uh, uh, simply uh, in communion, it is an announcement, it is a declaration of the death of our Savior. This week I want to say number two is, he said, remember. Say remember. remember. He's, it means to recall. It means to remind. And, and, and so in this text it says remembrance. Say remembrance. remembrance. Now when he said remembrance, he, he talked about the bread and wine. This is my body. This is my blood. As you're taking of those elements, please understand. The word remembrance means 
to go back to where it happened. Remembrance means when you're sitting here right now, he said, take a trip back 2,000 years ago and, and imagine you were there when they were nailing nails in his hand. He said, that was for you. See, I, I don't want you to understand this glorified thing until you understand I paid. I paid for you. When I, when I got through paying for you, I, I had stuff left over called an inheritance. But I, watch this. One of the problems in education today is that our children don't know what it costs for them to go to the schools that they're going to. And so they take for granted not remembering that mamas got beat and dogs were sicked on people and we couldn't even get this and we had to start our own this. It was not easy to get where we are. But if you don't remember what it cost. He said, put yourself in remembrance. Not only remembering the nails being nailed in my hand, but also put yourself in remembrance. Every time he whipped, they whipped me in the back. It ripped flesh out. For you. For me. That through that process, I opened up heaven. For you. And for me. I paid for all we did thought about or would think about doing think about it go back there and where the door was open to prosperity and healing and deliverance it was at the cross paid for So when he says, this is my body, my body was jacked up so your body could be made whole. My body was nailed to a cross so you can be released into freedom. My blood was shed for the ultimate sacrifice. And once that lamb was shed and, and, and crucified and slain, everybody who would call upon his name. I, I don't ascribe to this new theology going around. You got to ascribe to his name. If you don't call his name, if you don't confess his name, there ain't no grace for you. There ain't no free entrance. You got to come by way of the cross. You got to come. I don't care what they're teaching today. You need to understand. I am the way, the truth, and the light. You got to come through Calvary and you got to remember where the door is. And then when you come through there, grace is sufficient. When you come through there, mercy is everlasting. When you come through there, I forgive you and throw it in the sea of forgetfulness. When you come through. And you got to remember where the door is. Don't your neighbor say 2,000 years ago. At the cross. I was there. My sins are paid for in full and he became poor so I can be made rich I am rich can I 
tell you something? That's the last Adam. You had Adam, and then in the garden who fell, and then you had Jesus, the Adam that brought us back into the presence of the Lord. Say, I'm in the presence of the Lord. Now look at me. Adam didn't even know the word sickness. Adam did not know poverty. That's why John the Baptist had to come and announce that the king is coming. And he said, repent, change your mind. Meaning, somebody's about to come to put us back in the garden. Because in the garden, in the glory of God, we don't know sickness. We don't know poverty. It's not even in the vocabulary. He took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it, take now and eat together. He sealed it. 2,000 years ago, we were there. Say, I was there. there. It's sealed in the blood of Jesus. Take now and drink together. Hallelujah. I need you to do one thing. I want you to be seated at this moment. Elders, you can get in position, get back in your seats. I want you to hear this. 